Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Point text in Photoshop Elements lets you create text where each line of text is independent of the other lines. In Elements, you can create point text when using either the horizontal or vertical type tools or type mask tools. As you type point text, the length of the line grows. If you delete characters, the length of the line shrinks. However, the line of text will not automatically wrap to the next line of text. To create a point type text layer of vector text, click the Type Tool button in the toolbox. Then click either the Horizontal Type Tool or the Vertical Type Tool button in the Tool Options bar. Then either select a blank layer in the Layers panel to convert into a type layer, or select a layer with existing content above which to create a new type layer in the Layers panel. Then hover your mouse pointer over the preview image at the location at which to add the text. Your mouse pointer will turn into an I-beam character. This character marks the baseline of the text upon which the text will rest. Click into the image at the place where you want the text baseline to appear. Next, use the Tool Options bar to set your initial font options. To set the font, use the Search for and Select Fonts dropdown. To set the font style, use the Set the Font Style dropdown. The available font styles change based on the font selected. To set the font size, use the Size dropdown or click into this field, type a font size measured in points and then press the Enter key on your keyboard. To set the font color, click the Color box to show the Color Swatches panel, and then double-click a swatch color to select that color and close the panel. To set the amount of space to place between lines of text, use the Letting dropdown. To adjust the spacing between highlighted or selected letters, use the Tracking dropdown. However, you can only use this dropdown after typing text and then selecting it. To toggle faux bold, faux italic, underline, or strike through on or off for the text, click the next few buttons to the right as needed. Faux means that if the font you selected doesn't have that natural font style variation, the button changes the text to mimic the effect. The next three buttons let you set the text alignment. To left align horizontal text, click the left align text button. To center text lines by their horizontal centers, click the center align button. To right align horizontal text, click the right align text button. Alternatively, to align the top of vertical text, click the top align text button. To align the middle of vertical text lines, click the center text button. To align the bottoms of vertical text lines, click the bottom align text button. To apply a layer style to the vector text layer after you finish and confirm the text, select a style from the Style dropdown. To change the text orientation, click the Change Text Orientation button to toggle between the horizontal and vertical choices. To launch the Warp Text dialog box, which lets you apply a shape to the text, click the Warp Text button. In the dialog box, use the drop-down to select a choice, change any settings you wish, and then click the OK button. Finally, to prevent jagged text edges, especially if any of the faux text styles are applied, check the Anti-Aliasing checkbox. After applying the initial text options, then type the text using the keyboard. Press the Enter key on your keyboard to create a new baseline of text as needed. To apply your changes when finished, click the Confirm checkmark button. To cancel your changes, click the Cancel button. Like what you see? 
pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.